Giants Nation, hold your breath because the season is about to kick off tomorrow and the latest news from the Giants will get you pumped. It looks like we're gearing up for a big season for our team and you don't want to miss out on this. Before I throw this video, I quickly ask for your subscription to hit our goal of 500 subscribers. So I want to see the strength of all of you pushing our channel and our team at the stadium in the upcoming season starting tomorrow. Subscribe right now. Let's get to the video. The preseason conversations about the Giants shifted dramatically in the final weeks of the spring, and I'll tell you why. Let's start with the incredible additions to our team, shall we? Blake Snell and Robbie Ray, Cy Young winners, joined us along with pitcher Jordan Hicks, eager to shine as a starter. And on defense? Young Hu Lee, Nick Ahmed, and Matt Chapman. That's a defense to reckon with, isn't it? And on the offensive side, we have Jorge Soler with his 48 home run season and newcomer Lee, who could be our new base leader every day. Now, what's left for us to analyze and are we being too demanding? Yes, probably. Now here's the question everyone's asking. Can the Giants spend over $300 million on salaries and still miss the playoffs? It's hard to believe, especially with all these reinforcements and the hiring of experienced Bob Melvin as our new coach. But as we saw with the Padres last season, money doesn't always guarantee success. Plus, there's an important question we need to discuss. With the new rules valuing team speed, see Arizona's example. Do the Giants have players fast enough? Although we don't have the best track record of speedsters, we have Lee, Tyler Fitzgerald, and Austin Slater, along with excellent base runners. Stolen bases may not be as crucial as taking extra bases and putting pressure on opposing defenses whenever possible. Melvin has already indicated he'll be quite liberal with the green light on the bases. But what about the shortstop position? Is it really settled? Well, that's still unclear after spring training, but Nick Ahmed seems like a solid option both defensively and offensively. But there's still room for Marco Luciano or Fitzgerald to shine. And the team is keeping an eye on potential deals during the season to bolster that position. And the bullpen? Oh yes, we have one and it should be good. Hicks could be dominant, especially if used in the second half when Alex Cobb and Ray return to the rotation. Finally, we can't ignore the issue of the team's public image after some contentious departures, both on and off the field, can we? But in the end, I believe that winning will go a long way toward resolving any discontent among the fans. Farhan Zaidi has made big moves to ensure the Giants compete in baseball's toughest division. Lee and Soler have the potential to generate a lot of excitement, and the rotation is as strong as it has been since the glory days of 2010 to 2014. So folks, what do you think of our preparation for the season? Do you believe the Giants are ready for a successful season? Do you think we can dream of the playoffs? Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe to the channel for more updates on the Giants. Until the next video, together we're Giants.